I see that Supex has got himself suspended again, which is a real shame because he's been making some great videos, especially that last one. Given this sad event, I want to make some commentary about all of this YouTube atheist drama. You see, from what I saw, what precipitated this event was that Supex was playing with the Amazing Atheist and Fake Sagan. It's really an object lesson of what happens when you play with worthless sacks of shit. You get infected. What's a reasonable person supposed to do in this type of circumstance? In my mind, I'm flashing back on Aristophanes' play, Lysistrata. Wait a minute. Supex has told me that when I make references like that, you know, outside of my intelligent subscriber base, that just goes over people's heads. So, let me break this right down to earth in a language that everyone here can easily understand. Instead of using classical Greek plays, let me talk about something from a comic book. If you like Spider-Man, you'll love this reference because it comes from his co-creator, Steve Ditko. This is a version of one of Ditko's classic panels, Mutual Consent or Force. It's the basic choice in human relationships. Here, he outlines what that choice means. Two people are disagreeing. They have two options. They can either decide not to deal with one another and go off and find people that will deal with them by mutual consent, as is shown on the left. However, on the right, we see the other option, the pressure men, the initiators of force, who, when someone disagrees with them, decides to attack that other person and try to compel them to do things that they want them to do against the will of the other person. We can see here that those pressure men symbol is the club. Great, we've level set it. Thanks to Ditko's image, we all know what I'm talking about. Some people deal with each other based upon mutual consent. Other people resort to force. In all of this YouTube atheist drama, who's who? If your eyes been shut, you've seen it. It's obvious. Use your own judgment. Don't play with me. Yeah, you know who's who. In my own experience with Supex, I know I've had lots of disagreements with him, and we've disagreed about things that were really important. However, we've always disagreed amicably, because we always knew that in the end, reality would be the final arbiter over who was right and who was wrong, and we both benefited from that process. So who's on the other side? Well, I'm about to tell you, but I'm not the first person that's talked about this. Other people have mentioned their names before. Let me give you a hint. Let me read some of the words on Ditko's club, and you can noodle through who these words apply to. No choice, pain, violence, threat, destructive power, coercion, irrational, initiating force, whim, fraud. Yes, I'm talking about the Amazing Atheist and Fake Sagan. Now, I've only seen a couple of their videos each because I pretty quickly identified that they really didn't have anything of value that they brought to the table. In fact, what others have identified that they are bringing to the YouTube Atheist community is drama. They always start the drama, they always perpetuate the drama, and they are the drama. So, there's a problem. Within the YouTube Atheist community, there's a group of people that think that all atheists should get along, which is inconsistent with reality, because there's two different paths that people take to get to atheism. One is reason, and the other is subjectivism. So within the corpus of atheists, there's really two columns. The first column are the reasonable people that do the work and the heavy lifting regarding demonstrating an alternative to theism. 
the other column I like to refer to as the fifth column because although they're atheists in name, they actually have a lot in common with the theists. You see, both groups are subjectivist in their epistemology, and their metaphysics, so they really have very little in common with the reasonable atheists. In fact, what I've seen is that these fifth columnists actually uh, embody the theist caricature of what an atheist is. Uh, let me tie these th two ideas together to show how they relate to one another. On the one hand, uh, the subjectivist, and on the other hand, uh, the use of force as a way to settle a dispute in a social relationship. The subjectivist view of reality is based upon the primacy of consciousness. Either the consciousness of an individual creates reality, that reality is created by a collective consciousness, such as by society, by the race, uh, something, the tribe, something to that effect, or that it's created by a superior consciousness, such as God. So that in this respect, this is the link between the fifth column atheists and the theists. So the subjectivist, because their ideas aren't tied to actual reality of existence, that when they're trying to communicate their ideas or their opinions, they can't argue from a basis of facts. They basically have to share their feelings, and anybody that doesn't agree with them, there's really no way to convince them that their feelings need to supersede what the other person is thinking. Thus, they have to resort to intimidations and threats and force in order to project their consciousness onto somebody else. So are these fifth columnists redeemable? It reminds me of the old saying, how difficult it is to reason someone out of something that they didn't reason themselves into in the first place. It's improbable. It's possible, but they should bear the brunt of correcting their own errors. It's far more likely that in the future that they will become theists. So what is to be done with all of these fifth columnists? I've silently applied a personal policy towards them, which is based upon an early American policy. It was called the Non-Intercourse Act of 1807, in which the young American Republic refused to engage in commerce with the belligerent English and French. The amazing atheist and fake Sagan tend to bring out the worst in people, those who are YouTube atheists and have chosen to engage in disputes with them usually end up suffering self-inflicted wounds. As examples of this, I think about Metabob's apology to fake Sagan and several suspended accounts. As they offer no value and leave only destruction in their wake, I will now openly declare that I will not have intercourse with the amazing atheist and fake Sagan. If you agree with my argument, I encourage you to also openly declare that you will not have intercourse with them. If you disagree because your love for them is so strong, then I encourage you to declare it and say boldly that you will have intercourse with them.